Life on this planet is being increasingly compromised by the toxic burden of a very large group of some 12,000 chemicals called PFAS for short. PFAS are often called forever chemicals and for good reason. It's due to the immense strength of the carbon fluorine bond found in all PFAS compounds, one of the strongest known in chemistry. This makes them incredibly persistent in the environment as well as in the human body used in a wide range of industrial and consumer applications. You'll find them in non-stick cookware, in fast food wrappers, in water-resistant clothing, in furniture protection products, in firefighting foams, lubricants, and in literally hundreds of other products. These chemicals are everywhere, and researchers link them to a wide array of health effects, including testicular cancer, kidney cancer, thyroid disease, high cholesterol, birth defects, and more. The FDA tells us that from the testing it has done that no detectable PFAS could be found in 701 out of 718 food samples it tested. But three of the contaminated 17 samples were seafood. We wanted to independently verify if our food was as safe from PFAS as the FDA claims. To do this, we conducted a pilot study. We used kale as our model because it is the archetypal healthy vegetable. A&H team members from four different states went to their local supermarkets and each bought a sample of conventionally grown kale and organic kale. These were sent in PFAS, repackaging to a leading laboratory that used FDA-validated methods for PFAS analysis. All but one of the eight samples was found to be PFAS contaminated. We tested double the number of samples of kale tested by the FDA in three years and four out of four of the organic samples were found to be contaminated. Our pilot study report shows why we should be very concerned about what the FDA is telling the American public, that the only real problems with PFAS in food are in drinking water and seafood. How can that be true when we found nearly 90% of kale samples we purchased to be contaminated? This raises a serious question. Are U.S. regulatory agencies working to downplay a massive public health issue? We need you to wake up the public as well as U.S. regulatory agencies, notably the FDA and the EPA, over the seriousness of this issue. We need to understand just how much of our food is contaminated and come to terms with the fact that the problem might extend way beyond drinking water and seafood. Remember that food is just one route by which we can be exposed to PFAS, and that PFAS accumulates in the human body. It's truly a forever chemical. Add it up, and it's clear. We're sitting on a ticking time bomb. We're raising money now to do more testing and to force a federal ban on all 12,000 PFAS chemicals. Please make donations via banpfas.org or anh-usa.org. Our report calls for a ban on these chemicals as soon as practically possible. Go to banpfas.org and find out more. <laughs>